Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. So basically I'm gonna be talking to you guys and showing you guys what my top 10 favorite drugstore must-have products are. Pretty much like what I think people need to try if they have not already tried them. So here's a little sneak peek of the products that I have. I have 10 products to show you guys. These are pretty much like my all time must have drugstore products. Like I cannot live without them. And yeah, I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Subscribe to join the crew. And that being said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so product number one, this baby right here. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably knew that I was gonna whip this one out. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in love with this foundation, seriously. This has got to be not only my favorite drugstore foundation, but my favorite foundation of all time. And that is a big statement, considering the fact that this is only like, what, six bucks? I mean, for us here in Australia, it is a tad bit more expensive because we have to order this product online because we don't have Wet n Wild here in Australia. But hands down, I'm not even mad about it. Like I would purchase this over and over again. It is definitely something you need to try. And considering the fact that it's only $6, like why not? Such a good foundation, has really great coverage. I am wearing it today, if you guys are wondering. So the, yeah, this is the foundation that I'm wearing. I'm obsessed. I love the coverage. I love the feel and I just love the look of it on my skin. I think it looks amazing. So yeah. Definitely a must-have. Next up we have a rediscovery. I actually had not used this for quite a while and then I recently picked it up again and started using it and I'm obsessed. So this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer. Essentially, yeah, it is a primer. You apply it all over your face or just to the highest points of your face that you want to glow. I mean, you could totally just apply this to like the cheekbones, the nose, above the brows, like wherever you usually highlight with a powder. But for me personally, I just like go ham and apply it all over my face. I feel like it gives you the nicest glow. At first, it is a little bit intimidating. I'll just show you guys on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's like pure white. And then when you go and blend it in, it's like Tin Man action, like super metallic. But once you just finish blending it into your skin, it looks great and it gives you like a beautiful gold, a beautiful gold, yeah, a beautiful gold, a beautiful glow. I just love how it looks on the skin. So if you're the kind of person that loves to glow and wants to glow like all over, this is a must have. I would even wear this on the days where I don't wanna wear any foundation or any makeup. I just wanna have my brows done. I'll put some of this all over my face and I'm like good to go. It just gives you the nicest glow and yeah, it's definitely a must have for me. Next up, we have another, these are all, I'm like talking about them like as if you don't know that they're my favorites. Obviously they're my favorites because I'm showing you guys, but this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Why can't I say that properly? That's really hard to get out. But yeah, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm obsessed. This is so hard to get your hands on here in Australia. So I will leave a link for you guys down below if you don't mind ordering it online. I did pick mine up from iHub and the smell man like, it smells so good. It honestly, the scent of this reminds me of like when I was a kid and I would go to the beach with my family and my mom would always make me put like sun cream lotion on. Yeah, that's exactly what this smells like. It just smells so tropical. It smells like the beach and oh, I, I honestly wish you guys could smell it because it smells so good. But aside from the fact that it smells great, I also love the way it applies to the skin. Honestly, you cannot apply too much of this. It blend so evenly and smoothly into your skin. It like melts like butter, essentially. I mean, yeah, it's called the butter bronzer, but it's it's honestly amazing. I also just want to make note of the fact that there are actually two versions of this bronzer. There's like light bronzer and then bronzer bronzer. Personally, I have the bronzer bronzer because I am a little bit darker in skin tone. Like this is my natural skin color. So I did go for the bronzer bronzer shade. So if you're my shade or similar to, then you might want to go for this one as well. But for me, this bronzer is hands down my favorite drugstore bronzer that I have tried. And I recommend if you can get your hands on it, it is a definite must have. Next up, we have one of my all time favorite products. You guys know that I love to glow. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This particular one is in the shade Precious Petals. I am so obsessed with this highlighter, guys. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks and pretty much all over my face today. So peep that glow, brought to you by yours truly. Seriously, like I'm just putting this out to the universe. Wet n Wild needs to come to Australia and you need to stock your products here because I swear they would be so popular. Everybody would love them and yeah, Wet n Wild, like where you at? But yeah, this is it right here. It's so beautiful, guys. Let me just give you a quick swatch. There it is on my finger, like damn. 
and then on the back of my hand. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed, you guys. Hands down, this is the best drugstore highlighter that I've ever tried. Oh, actually, the Sleek Cosmetics uh, highlighter palettes do come close, but for the price, this is insane. I'm pretty sure this is under $10 pretty sure that it is but yeah honestly it's a must-have unfortunately I have not tried any of the other highlighter shades from wet n wild I do know that they actually came out with some new shades recently so if I can I want to get my hands on them but for now this is this is my baby next up you already know though the Astralis ready set go finishing powders these are like my ride or die so as you guys can see I am holding up two they are the same thing but like a different formulation so essentially this is a loose one and this is a pressed one before Astralis came out with this which was very recently this is a very new product to the market here in Australia but before they came out with the pressed version they had the loose version and I was obsessed the only thing with this is it's amazing to set underneath the eyes but in a way it kind of darkens your concealer so if you're the type of person who likes to have a really highlighted under eye then this is going to make sure that there's no creasing but it will kind of bring it back a notch but regardless i still loved using this i pretty much use this every like on an everyday basis but lately i've been really reaching for the pressed version just because it's so like fuss free it's so easy to use you don't have to worry about being careful when opening up the compact because i mean if i can open it it is a pressed version and oh my goodness i've already hit pan I'm not even gonna try opening this up because the whole screen will be filled with like white powder. The thing I love about these is that they are so finely milled that your under eyes feel so smooth. Like if, if, if you guys could just, I can't even talk properly, but if you guys could just like reach out and touch my under eyes, they feel like silk. I don't know what it is in this thing, but Astralis did the damn thing and I love these. I think everybody needs to try these for setting the under eyes. You will have your concealer last all day and you won't have any creasing, I guarantee. Next up is something that I get so many questions from you guys about. So a lot of you wanna know like what lashes I wear on an everyday basis, especially in my vlogs. You guys are like, what lashes are you wearing? Are those your real lashes? Whenever I wear these, people always think that they are my real lashes and I've gotten it so many compliments when wearing these and that just makes me so happy so here they are here these are the Ardell Wispies it's actually crazy because whenever I go out in public and I'm wearing these I get people stopping me and asking me like what lashes I have on and this is them guys the Ardell Wispies not the Demi Wispies I mean the Demi Wispies are good as well but they are a little bit shorter and since I have such a large eye um, I got really big eyes I like to use the Wispies because I feel like they kind of fill out my eye a little more and make them look more like Bambi like but like I was saying I get so many questions on my vlogs asking me what lashes I use and this is them these are like my daily go-to lashes if I'm going out like shopping or going on a date going out for lunch whatever this is what I wear now of course you can buy these from the drugstore but for me personally because I live in Australia where everything is more expensive I prefer to buy mine in bulk online so I will leave the website down below yeah i just love these so much they are super full fluffy not too intense though they're like they look like a really natural lash because honestly i've had so many people ask me whether they're my real lashes i'm like girl i wish plus they're really easy to apply because they do have an invisi band so they're very flexible easy to apply lightweight and i just love them next up i have a contour and highlight kit to show you guys so this is the nyx Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. To be honest, as of late, I've been reaching for this more than my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Not saying something, because that palette was expensive, but for real, like this palette just does the, the same job. Like it works so well. The shades that I like to use are this one right here and the one right above it, the Banana Yellow shade. So those are the two shades that I really use. I kind of go more for like the ashy tones when it comes to contouring, just because I am so warm in skin tone, like I'm very yellow in skin tone. Um, I do prefer to go for like a more ashy tone so it doesn't look so crazy on me. And even though the packaging is like plastic, it is pretty sturdy. Like I've had no issues with it. And I believe, I haven't tried this. Actually, I don't want to break my nail, but I'm pretty sure you can like pop these bad boys out and then get the refill pans if you want to refill, which is awesome. So yeah, really been liking this one. And I think if you are looking for a decent drugstore highlight and contour palette to try that comes with a variety of different shades, then this is the way to go. I have here a little baby to show you guys. This is like, this is sad almost. Okay, so this is my number one hands down favorite drugstore lip liner. And I'm not talking about like, the brand itself i'm talking about the color that's why it's so tiny and i'm like 
holding on to it for dear life. This is the Rimmel, I don't even know what it's called. Let me let me figure this out for a second because I've like sharpened the entire name off. Oh, okay, it's called the Rimmel Lip Contouring Pencil. This one is in the shade Cappuccino. And guys, the reason why I have such a stubby, tiny little one is because I cannot find it in stores. Like, I don't know if Rimmel decided to discontinue this, but I'm telling you, if they don't bring it back, I'm gonna be really upset. If you have a similar skin tone to me and you like to wear nude lips like I do, this is gonna be your go-to. Let me just show you guys a swatch. It's like butter, honestly, it is like butter. And I know that looks kind of intimidating and dark, but for real, when you line your lips with this and then you go in with like a pale nude, like what I have on today, it really blends into the skin nicely and it makes it so that your lips don't get lost in the nude lipstick because let me tell you guys, there were so many days as a teen where I used to slap on Max Myth lipstick and if you guys know which one I'm talking about, you know that that's a pale nude. I wish I had this back then, but I didn't. So yeah, this is my number one favorite lip liner ever, hence the reason why it's just so small, like honestly. I'm gonna be really sad when I finish this and if I can't find it in store, like I don't know what I'm gonna do. If you guys love a good winged liner, then you need to try out these babies. These are the NYX liquid liners and I'm telling you guys, you need to try them. So, I have been obsessed with the NYX matte liquid liner, essentially what it is. So yeah, it's just like your basic liquid liner. It comes with a brush tip applicator. Look how black that is, like does that not make you feel some type of way, honestly. But what I love about this liquid liner is the fact that it dries matte. Cause sometimes I feel like when you do a winged liner on like a really bomb ass eye makeup look, the glossiness of the liner kind of takes over and takes away from what you're trying to portray on your lids. So I love the fact that this is so, so, so black, but it also dries matte. I also have the white version as well. Like that looks like white out, do you think? You know white out, liquid paper, white out. Do they still have that these days? I don't know. The opacity of these liners is just insane. I also have one of their Vivid Brights ones. This one is in the shade Halo, which is essentially just a yellow. Ooh. It's so opaque. I can't wait to do looks with this one. I've like got a look in mind that I want to do with the yellow one. And then of course we have the glam liners. Oh, can you see that? Yes, give it to me. See that glow? Yes, I love them. I honestly love them. They're amazing. Super easy to do a winged liner with. Even if you're trying to just do some type of line work on your lids or whatever, these are a must have. I decided to kind of just throw them all under the one category because I guess they are one product even though I'm showing you like five different ones but these are amazing super inexpensive and NYX like you did the damn thing with these I love them and I yeah must have <laughs> before I move on do you see how that like black just dried completely matte and it's so black it's amazing I love it and those glam ones though like okay all right we are down to the last product and this was like my first ever brow kind of thing that i really got into if that makes sense so this is the chi chi brow pomade i'm not 100 percent sure if chi chi is available overseas i know it's available here in australia and of course new zealand i don't know if it's available anywhere else correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can order from their online website. So essentially this is a brow pomade. I've pretty much used mine all up, but this like got me started on the trend of brow pomade. To be honest, from the time when I first started getting into makeup, I mean, I did go through that stage where I applied my brows with a black pencil liner, but let's just not talk about it. But I was always like a brow powder kind of girl. I never really got into pomades because I just couldn't see myself applying them in a way where it didn't look like two slugs on my face. So when I saw this in the drugstore, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. And that like kicked everything off. I'm obsessed. I'm not actually wearing it today. I should have worn them today. But it's pretty much, if you're looking for a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, this is it, super inexpensive, and they have a pretty decent color range. So yeah, this this thing started off my love affair with brow pomades and I can't forget about you. So you guys know I had to throw in one extra product because I could not make this top 10 list without including this one. So we're gonna sneak in a little number 11. 11 is actually my favorite number if you guys didn't know. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this baby right here. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artiste Lumper. I have tried a lot of other brow setting formulas and brow mascaras, whatever that you want to call them. Um, but this is hands down my favorite and the fact that it's drugstore makes it like 10 times better. I know that Benefit has some pretty good ones, but this one takes the cake for me. Like this is my number one brow setting mascara and 
Yep, I just, I love it. I love, love, love it. I love the fact that it's not only tinted, but it has like these little fibers inside the formula, which kind of cling onto your brows. So it makes them look nice and full and just luscious and I love them. So yeah, I just had to, I just had to include you in here because I could not do a top 10 drugstore products without including this. So. You're lucky number 11. So those were my top 10 drugstore must-have products. Comment down below and let me know if you have similar feelings towards any of the products that I showed you guys or let me know what your current favorite product from the drugstore is because I'm definitely open to trying new things. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new and you're still here at the end and you are not subscribed, you know what to do. Join the crew by pressing the little red subscribe button below. As always, I will list everything that I spoke about in this video down in the description box along with their relevant links if you are interested in purchasing any of them. And with that being said, I hope you are all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.